Okay, I'm Marie Goujon and I'm the Minister for Rural Affairs and the Natural Environment. Well, I've been really excited about this project actually and really excited to be here for the second year. And so I think what I loved about the Ideas Festival the first year round was actually getting to meet young people and not just from Scotland, it was from uh, yeah, countries all over the place. And it's really important for me, I think, in my job, and given the responsibilities that I have, looking at rural policy, uh, well, environmental policy as well, but actually hearing what young people think and young people that live in rural areas, uh, that's really important for me in my government role. But also, I mean, I represent a rural area, and I think that we all share common problems. And it's really important for me to hear yeah, what other people think, how they feel about living in a rural area, what would make it easier for people to want to come and live and work in a rural area as well, and I suppose what government can do to try and yeah, facilitate those conditions and enable that to happen. I would really like there to be a tangible outcome from it, so I think it would be important, not just, well, not just for me, but for the young people that have attended, to see how their opinions and their actions actually feed into what we do in government and how that actually feeds into the decisions that we take and all the other areas that we look at. Because I think it's important that a lot of the issues that people face living in rural areas, it's obviously it's not just an area for me in rural policy. It cuts across all sorts of areas like housing, uh, the economy, uh, the environment, transport, it's broadband, it's all sorts of issues like that. So that's why I think it's important for me to hear today the kind of concerns and issues that people have, to hear their opinions. You know, what do they enjoy about living in a rural area? Or what is it that would maybe put them off or feel like they can't really live in a rural area anymore? And again, just to see if there's a way that we can make that directly feed into the kind of decisions that I take and that we take across government. One thing I love is about is actually getting out and speaking to people. I would like to think I'm pretty easy to contact and easy to do that with. But it is just like, make contact with your representatives, your MSPs. And actually, you know, if there's an issue that you care about in particular, it's make sure you can make your, your voice known. I mean, we'll have councillors at local government level, MSPs. And like I say, your, your government there is is there to listen to you. That's part of my job and a part of my job that I take really seriously. So it is just, you know, try and make these connections and I, I think that's a good way for you to, uh, yeah, to have your voice heard. But also, I mean, chances are if there's a particular issue that you feel about in your community, you're not alone in feeling that as well. So it's like, you know, maybe trying to see, it's, it's not necessarily it's gonna be a massive campaign or, uh, but yeah, see and trying to find out if there's other people that feel the same way as you and yeah, Contacting your representatives is a good way and then following up on that and making sure that your representatives and the people that are there to represent you are actually doing that job and raising the issues that you want to see raised. So that's probably one thing. I mean, we have all these different levels of government in place and I think it's important that, that people use them. But also, it's not... I mean, the only reason I got involved in politics really is because I wanted to make changes in my community and I ended up standing for election, you know, don't rule anything out. And I would say that if there's something you're passionate about and you want to make those changes, then, yeah, that's also another option. Yeah, I think it's, I, to be honest, it should be, I mean, it's even just a case of looking online and seeing who your local representatives are, whether that's at council level, and there'll be all sorts of ways that you can contact them now. I mean, that's one thing that I... You know, I've, if you look at myself and in my constituency, I have a website, I have an, obviously an office presence as well, Facebook, Twitter, all the uh, Instagram as well, which I'm trying to get better at, probably not the best at at the moment. But there's all sorts of different ways that I try to be accessible to people. So it's kind of looking on all these platforms and, you know, if somebody drops me a Facebook message and want to meet with me, you know, I quite happily do it that way or it doesn't necessarily have to be the traditional ways of writing or phoning because there are so many different methods now where people try to be more accessible to people so uh, yeah I think any of those sorts of mediums are a good way to get in touch. Last year I left feeling totally inspired from hearing some of the other speakers that were, had taken part in the Ideas Festival. Because I think what that really opened my eyes to, I mean, it doesn't surprise me because I think that sometimes we can think of rural areas and you think it's fishing, farming, forestry, you know, and those are the only sectors. But it's just like our rural areas are home to some of the most diverse and sometimes completely random successful businesses that you get anywhere. And they can be a lot of small businesses as well doing completely different things. And some businesses operating completely online. And I think that's what 
that was interesting last year was hearing just the whole variety of careers that people have and still living and working in rural areas. So I hope that after this event and that what I would want people to take away is the fact that they are inspired and they know that nothing is off limits to them. And again, it's my job to listen to that and make sure that we create the conditions, I suppose, for that to happen. Um, but that's where I'm really excited to hear what comes out of it and what people are thinking. Um, and yeah, just really excited to see how it goes. Oh, one thing I absolutely love is I, I just love running and running. Is, I love it in my constituency because I feel like I've lived in, in that area all my life. But when you're out and you're running, you discover new places all the time. And I love how I can run around Brecon and there's loads of nice places there. I could be next thing running along the cliffs. Uh, near our broth and in Montrose and then you know five minutes in the other direction you can be running up the hills and you're in the heart of the glens and that is what really yeah it's really important for me to do that I think because work can obviously be really stressful like it is for a lot of people but it does it totally clears your mind and I think especially on day like today when you look out the windows it's that crisp clear frost outside these are perfect running conditions so yeah that's what I absolutely love to do and such a good way to explore rural Scotland.